Hello, Monetization Nation. I'm Nathan Gwilliam, your host. And today I want to talk about how we can have positive energy in our lives and our businesses. And I've talked about this in a in another episode recently, but I've, I've been thinking about it a lot. And, and I have some additional thoughts that I want to share. For the last eight months or so, I've been dealing with some neck issues. And, and I regularly have neck issues and I go to the chiropractor and he helps me. But this is a little different neck issue that hasn't been going away uh, through, through my normal treatments. And about two weeks ago, uh, the issue started getting worse. And, and I started having feelings going down in my shoulder and down my right arm and numbness in my, in my right hand kind of feeling like lightning going down my arm or, um, you know, really sharp pains at different pressure points on my arms. It's been making it really hard for me to sleep. I can't lay on that right shoulder and having a hard time even laying on my back with the pressure on the arm. And, and so yesterday I went and visited an orthopedic surgeon and I had had done some tests and he was looking at the tests and, and, uh, I was expecting that, um, he was going to tell me I had a herniated disc or a ruptured disc in my neck and that I had to replace that disc. And I was concerned about that. But the news he gave me was actually a lot worse than that. He said um, that my neck is so far gone that he can't even do that. And so he's he's doing another course of treatment and I'm, I will probably have to have some some vertebrae in my neck fused. But as I was driving home and and sharing this news with my wife, she asked me, how do you feel about this? And I thought about it for a second and I said, I felt like a learner. I felt challenged. I felt like I wanted to go learn everything I could about this type of, of health condition. And I wanted to go, I'm going to go do everything in my power to change my trajectory to change my course and this is the the positive energy that uh, i was talking about in the last episode and i I recently attended a conference where tony robbins spoke and and that's the person that got me thinking about this and, and taught me a lot of these principles and instead of dwelling on oh my goodness i have this um somewhat untreatable condition uh instead my focus is on okay what is everything I can do to learn about and, and change the situation that I'm, I'm in? One of the concepts that Tony Robbins taught related to positive energy was, was the concept about constant progress. And he talked about how reaching the end destination is often not what leads us to happiness. There's often many people that focus on a degree or or focus on building and selling a business and, and they reach those big, huge goals. And then their reaction is, is this it? Is there something more? They're not feeling that fulfillment. And Tony's point was that the happiness comes from the progress and the improvement along the journey. So in physics, there's a law of energy. Energy transfers from one object to another, sometimes transforming the object. So think about two vehicles, right? You have car number one that's driving fast and hits car number two. As long as car number two isn't a lot bigger than car number one, when car number one hits car number two, car number two is probably going to move. And that's the energy being transferred. and, and often if that car is, is hit hard enough, it's going to transform car number two and probably car number one as well. And you're going to have a, a destroyed vehicle or a damaged vehicle. Uh, think of a sledgehammer hitting a watermelon, right? And, and how it, it transfers energy from the sledgehammer to the watermelon and how the watermelon transforms uh, in shape as it is hit. The same thing is true in our businesses, in our, in our teams, in our relationships. As we bring positive energy, it can transfer to, to the other people that we come into contact with, into our teams and, and our relationships. So generally, the more positive we are, the more positive the outcomes are going to be when, when we have these relationships and inter- interactions with, with other people. Okay, so how do we have more positive energy? Number one, we can have more courage. Winston Churchill said, success is not 
final. Failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. So we need to not get discouraged by, by our short-term failures, by our short-term discouragements and bad health news that we get. And we need to move forward and do what we can to progress and improve. We need to not let our fear hold us back. Courage is not the absence of fear. Courage is having fear and not getting stuck, but choosing to move forward and do the right thing anyway. The second thing we can do to help have more positive energy is to have focus. Tony Robbins says, where focus goes, energy flows. So I was once working to start a new business. And in my mind, I was ruminating on the negatives that could happen, the, the negative outcomes that could happen. And I didn't want my family to suffer in that situation. And I was talking to my wife about it and, and she told me to stop. She told me that I need to focus on where I want to go and not focus on where I don't want to go. Like Tony Robbins says, where focus goes, energy flows. I need to stop focusing on the negative outcomes and I need to put my energy on the positive outcomes where I want to go. Tony Robbins also said, quote, identify your problems, but give your power and energy to solutions. We need to not ignore the problems. We need to work to to solve those problems instead and focus on solutions, not problems. The, the problems will paralyze us. The solutions will energize us. And the third thing that we can do to have more positive energy is to have more drive. Madame C.J. Walker said, quote, don't sit down and wait for the opportunities to come. Get up and make them happen. Thank you so much for joining me for this episode. You can get a free copy of my ebook about passion marketing and learn how to become a top priority of your ideal customers at passionmarketing.com. You can also follow Monetization Nation on our Facebook group, on Instagram, on Twitter, on YouTube, and on your favorite podcast platform. And I wish you success as you strive to have more positive energy in your life and your business.